Good morning, guys. How are you? Hope you slept well last night. Uh, so yesterday, uh, we were in James and uh, talking about endurance. Let me read what I read to, you, uh, read to you yesterday. Consider it great joy, my brothers, whenever you experience various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. But endurance must do its complete work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. And and I wanted to, I'm going to stay here for a bit. Um, because when we think about the scripture, um, we have a tendency to, we say, okay, endurance. So the trials that I'm going through, I need to have endurance to make it through. Um, and so, um, because that's why we're being tested according, you know, we read this and, and it produces endurance in us. So, but, but one test doesn't actually um, <laughs> uh, make endurance. It's, it's, it's really what it is. It's a lifetime of working out what we believe is real in our life um, and to have endurance and what it's talking about is to do its complete work. So we think about endurance as something that I have to do, that I have to endure. The other aspect of understanding endurance is the fact is that we can't endure without him um, because we will fail. The scripture says over and over again, you know, it, it's, it's, for instance, let's look at this. Righteousness can't be worked out through us unless it's his righteousness. We can do good things and right things, but it won't endure unless it's Jesus working through us. Um, and we see that played out in scripture. The, another aspect of endurance is it's something that, it, it says it's something that lasts. Um, uh, there's a psalm that, that talks about God and, and it says it's all these things, but his love endures forever. Uh, da, da, da. But his love endures forever. And a really good friend, um, thank you, you know who you are, uh, sent me, uh, was just uh, talking to me through some of these things. And um, uh, I got a, a text message with a scripture verse. And um, so I want to I wanna go there because I think we need to endure in some things. Um, we need to allow him. See, it's when endurance completes, it must do it, it must be complete. There's a completeness and understanding. And, and the whole point of this is to get us to maturity lacking in nothing, right? And so I wonder sometimes if we really get down to just really being honest is are we taking this word and are we allowing it to, to dwell deeply within us to the point where this is our first instinct is to, to understand the word before we try to figure out the trial that we're in. Uh, being mature is understanding, I can't handle this, I need to go. Um, you know, they talk about leadership being like, you know, leaders are, um, are what they're really good at leading on other leaders that surround them. And, and, uh, and you know, which is, again, it's a, it's a constant learning tool, it's a constant thing. So let's get into this. Let's go to, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 13. Yes, 1 Corinthians 13. Um, because... Um, I, I want us to read this in light of endurance, and I, I want us to to, to understand that um, that what is the one thing that will endure is the Lord, um, God. He endures forever. His character endures forever. His 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 love. All all these things. So it says, if I speak of human or angelic languages, but do not have love, I am a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and I have all faith so that I can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I donate all my goods and feed the poor, and if I give my body in order to boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing because love is patient, it is kind, it does not envy, it is not boastful, it is not conceited, and does not act improperly, it is not selfish, it is not provoked, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, it hopes in all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. Love itself is enduring, the true love of God. Um, but then it goes on, but if I have the prophecies, they will come to languages, they will cease knowledge, they will come to an end. For now we know in part and prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. For now we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but th but then I will know fully, and I am full as I am fully known. Now these three remain: faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So 
in all these things? Can you tie those in? Can you see that that James uh, thing about you know we 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 have to this endures, but when it comes when but in when endurance does its work and it's completed, it brings maturity. And then when I look at this passage of scripture, I'm like, wow. Um, can I move that way in love? Can I be patient and kind, and not envy and not boastful? And all these things, which is, you know, I, I think God trying to get us to understand who he's created us to be. Um, God doesn't want to leave us in the trial. He wants to bring us through to completion and maturity. Um, he, he wants us to, to take, and that's why I said yesterday that a lot of times we, the trials that we go through is not for the other guy, it's for me. It's what I'm trying to learn. It's, it's Now, sometimes we react to the other guy, but but at the same point, it, it's what am I learning in this? And, and am I standing in, in what God's wanting me to stand in? Am I walking in this? I mean, it, it talks about all this, the prophetic. It's talking about the supernatural in this thing, you know, and, and wisdom and all these things. And, and it even says, you know, that, that I have faith, that the faith that I can just move a mountain. I mean, that's a huge thing. But he says, all these things really mean nothing unless it is supported and uplifted by the foundation of, of love, of an enduring love that, that lasts through all tests and trials. Um, it, it's one of those things that, that we have to ask God to show us. In the next passage, we have, which we'll get there in James, it says, you know, if you lack wisdom, ask, but don't doubt. You know, it's, it's like, don't doubt that he's going to give you these things. In other words, he's saying, do you believe God is really real? And he's saying these things and he's teaching these things. You know, we, we tend to fall back to, to wisdom of, of, the, of the culture. Um, you know, we're going through stuff right now that seems like the wisdom of the culture really doesn't know what it's talking about at times. And, and um, but God, but God does. Like, this right here I mean, we, 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 we go back to our past that has already been redeemed and we bring the things forward and we say because of this trial it's because of the, and it's no it's, it's like you know what I think if we haven't resolved some issues and yeah that, that could be part of God bringing that so that endurance can be completed in us what this endurance is is our faith and our, and our belief in God it's this love it's talking about it's this love that says we are going to endure through the things. Um, I hope I've encouraged you today. I hope you've looked at this um, in a different light and see how these kind of come together. Um, but I want you to know that, that God is trying to remain in us. The things at the end. I've looked at this passage of scripture, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, so many times. But then it's like, now these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Like God is getting us down to these things, that we have faith, that we have hope, and that we have love. But the greatest of these is love. Love is what it gives us the, the faith, love of the Father, love of people. It gives us the faith. It gives us the hope. And I hope that we are allowing God to get us down to this three basic things in our life. Because with these three basic things, endurance is completed and it brings us to maturity and it brings us to a place where we lack nothing. Um, again, not talking about material things. I'm talking about Him and Him alone. Guys, I love you to pieces. Uh, we'll continue this discussion tomorrow. I hope you have a blessed day. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.